Okay, so in this video, we're going to create a Google Colab that makes use of uh, Python. And in particular, we're going to take a look at how to implement uh, Cyton um, in the Python environment. Uh, and basically, we're going to apply this to a binomial tree, um, uh, the Jarrow Rod uh, tree, which is probably a little bit less well known than Cox Ross Rubenstein, uh, but also uh, reasonably prominent. Uh, the ideas here and the methodology is going to follow very closely this paper by Sanjeev Daz and Brian Granger. Um, and I'm going to run through so the, um, the implementation and take some of the code here. So basically, uh, they're saying in this article, we propose a new approach for implementing option pricing models in finance. Uh, financial engineers typically prototype such models in an interactive language such as MATLAB, then use a compiled language such as C, C++ for production systems. Code is therefore written twice. In this article, we show that Python programming language and Cypher compiler allows prototyping in a MATLAB-like manner, followed by direct generation of optimized C code with very minor code modifications. The, the approach is able to call upon powerful scientific libraries, uh, uses only open source tools, and is free of any licensing costs. Okay, so uh, let's go into uh, Google Colab and just set up uh, the minimum that is required then for making use of Cyton. Remember, the Google Colab is a Jupyter notebook with some additional functionality. Um, and uh, so I'll, we'll get some additional code here to allow us to operationalize Cyton. Okay, so for us to allow Cyton to run in the Google Colab, just very simply, put in this command. And I've also included in these hyperlinks as well, um, each of them related to papers and GitHubs and so on that uh, will, will be useful for explaining a little bit uh, Cyton. So we, we're going to set out then a couple of estimations, one that uses pure Python for estimating uh, the Jarrow Rod tree. And then in addition to that, we'll use Cyton. So we, we get the ball rolling um using um the code that's available here in this paper now uh one of the difficulties i found i was ho hoping that uh when these snippets popped up here's jar rod and it's pure python and my hope was just to highlight that code and then just copy edit copy paste but unfortunately it doesn't copy right um, however, I had a look around and I went into this GitHub, uh, Elison BG, right? So you might just take a look at, oh, okay, it's Brian Granger. That's brilliant, right? So that's, that's why uh, it's linked to the name on the paper, right? Keep in mind the second author here on the paper is uh, Brian Granger. And Brian has made available then uh, the, the snippets of code here. So it probably is the best way to copy and paste. So we take the pure binomial pi. Uh, we just, we don't need these bits. Uh, it's just the uh, import numpy as np and backward induction. So we'll just copy out that snippet. So basically what we have here is the notation, the symbols we set up, we define the function. The S is the stock price case, the exercise T is the time to maturity, V is the volatility, RF is the risk free rate, and then uh, we have to decide is it a call or a put. Um, and then the number of uh, steps then in the tree, and we've limited that to 100. Okay, so, okay, let's go and paste that in to um, our, so control V and it's gone in and let's just run that in this Python environment, see what happens. 
and it's executed. We can see it's executed and there's no issues in terms of debugging. And then uh, we would like um, to just run this with some actual values. Okay, so I'll go off and get some actual values. Okay, so we have our function, right? And then we have um, Okay, and I suppose we could go full screen. Um, and right, so what we can do here is just compare like against like. So we have jar rod, S is 100, K is 100, T is one year. Uh, the volatility is 30%, the risk rate is 3%. Uh, negative one here denotes that we have um, I check that it's a, a call option um, and then N is equal to 100. So AM, uh, so European is false and we can run this and we get 1034 for uh, our option value here, right? Which um, that's fine. So AM true false for American European Okay, so it's AM is false, which means we have European option. Uh, now, in this case, because uh, we don't have a dividend, uh, the European and American option would be worth the same, right? So the European option, the, the American option would be the same because we haven't, we don't have, it wouldn't be optimal to exercise early when we don't have uh, a dividend, right? Okay. So we can maybe um, zoom in a little bit because if we make it too small, it's hard to view. Now let's take another snippet of code, but this time using Cyton. And when we use Cyton, uh, it should be a bit faster. Okay, and we'll check that at the end. Okay, so let's go get a little bit of Cyton. Okay, so the Cyton code, we can come back to uh, where we started, go back to the GitHub, Brian's uh, GitHub and um, let's uh, get the, so the binomial uh, four, I think, which is the better. And then the, we just take import numpy as before, and we'll load in the same values, return. Okay, that's fine, copy. So our initial, what we want to do initially here is get the value of the call option. Um, and I'll go back into the Google Colab. We'll paste that in. Now I'm gonna make one small change. Uh, I'm gonna call, just to note this as uh, Cyton. So I'll put in C, C underscore C Y. And then uh, again for the function to run this jar rod copy selection go beneath and code and then control V to load in and keep uh, in mind uh, to invoke the Cyton function to invoke uh, the Cyton function will go um underscore cy and it should yield the same result as before right now what did i forget uh something important here uh we because it's citing it's not read in initially as um yeah we have to put in um here uh, percentage Cyton, C Y T H O N. And okay, let's run that. And that's fine. And then here. And you'll notice that it's, we don't have to load, it's read in as a, as a Python function. So we must, in order to set up the function, define the function, we use the, instead of DEF as we would in 
Python, we use CDEF, CDEF. Then we have this kind of uh, C inspired language, right? And we set out um, the uh, variables um, as such, and then we run the uh, site and code. Uh, we get 10, uh, 3414, which is the same as pure Python. Okay, now next thing then is to do a speed test. And um, to run the speed test, um, we'll take, um, uh, okay, so I'll go get some code for that. Okay, so we use this time it uh, and preface it by saying, look, we need to do 250 loops. Now, um, we'll start off with um, the pure Python function. So control C, come back down, control V, and let's run that. And if we run that, we do 250 loops and um, through the same function and little time. So for pure Python, we're getting 7.78 ns and we might remember the uh, ns uh, denotes one millionth of uh, one billionth of a second the ns is the nanoseconds okay so with this uh, estimation here using um we're down to a milliseconds in fact, milliseconds is one thousandth of a second, right? Milliseconds, MS is milliseconds. Now we want to compare that against uh, the other snippet of code. So let's run this one, which is the Cyton based code. And then we can compare the speed. Now, um, should be noted that we're getting the best of three out of the 250. Control V, then we'll preface, we'll copy, selection, um, and Control V again. And so we're going to compare then directly. Let's run this. It'll run 250 times. And it's this mu s, and the mu s is the millisec, the mu s is the microseconds. Okay, so whereas the milliseconds, Jarrah Rod, without, in pure Python, without any optimization, this is static uh, representation. Um, using pure Python, uh, we, uh, the, we have milliseconds, right? Uh, MS is the milliseconds, so 1,000 of a second. It's not very, very slow, but still uh, a lot slower than if we use uh, Cyton, right? And of course, this is a kind of a demonstration of how powerful Cyton is. So this is one millionth of a second, whereas this is 1,000th of a second. Uh, there is quite a substantial difference. Obviously, Cyton is, uh, this Cyton um, libraries invocation is generating a huge amount of savings in terms of estimation time. If we remove negative n to 50 and run our code again here, um, and likewise here, we did 100 loops. Now it's, I think it's uh, what it provides is the amount of estimation that can be performed in two seconds. So we have 100 loops here, but 10,000 loops. So basically, it's the number of loops that can be performed in two seconds. Uh, and with the site and code, you can do 10,000 loops of the same uh, function. Uh, so again, that gives another represent representation in terms of scale. Um, and um, uh, Cyton is seen here to be actually uh, quite fast, uh, quite an improvement. So th that actually is a quite good help. And it, it demonstrates a little bit the uh, capability of Cyton. Uh, have a look, I will leave a link to a Google Colab 
uh, below the video clip where you can find us, uh, Google Colab uh, notebook, and just double click on the icon, it will open up. This will be put up on a Vinegar Hill uh, Finance Lab website where you can trace through all the hyperlinks. But these particular links here, I think uh, you may find be quite useful. So I recommend uh, that you uh, uh, have a look at these also.